Now, as I mentioned recently during the review for Tigerland, which of course came out in 2000 and I reviewed on the Facebook page only because this channel hadn't been created yet, uh, I hate war films. Um, now, Tigerland caught me off guard with its fantastic quality, but uh, could lightning strike a second time and I like a movie from a genre I despise twice in a row? Well... Now, I was born in the wrong time and place. At heart, I would say I'm a bit of a hippie. And along with that, of course, comes my hatred of war. Uh, I'm anti-war on every conceivable front. So I don't want to see that up on my screens. Not to mention, such films tend to be criminally boring. Um, Anti-war messages, however, that potentially can swing me. But Buffalo Soldiers isn't anti-war. It's more stripes with Bill Murray from 1981 than the average war film. As essentially, it's just a comedy more than anything else. Gritty in places, sure, but it's still just a comedy. Now it stars... Oh, here we go again. I'm going to struggle to pronounce his surname. Is it Waquin? Joquin? Him. The, uh, the older brother of the late River Phoenix. Um, also, Ed Harris, Scott Glenn, Anna Paquin, who you'll know from the likes of True Blood, Michael Penner, who's in bloody everything these days, um, Quantum Leaps, Dean Stockwell, and Lucifer himself, Tom Ellis. Uh, the movie has absolutely no issues with its cast. It's fantastic. Now, it tells the story of a grifter within the ranks of a military base. He's become renowned as that guy to come to if you need anything. Uh, you know, anything which you shouldn't be having on base. And he's also connected to a lucrative drug operation ring that they've got going. But being that he... Being that he's that type, he swiftly makes enemies. And at the very same time, he comes into possession of a large quantity of military-grade weapons that he can sell. But can he pull the deal off um, without these third parties ruining it for him. Now, for those of you who know me, uh, you'll know that I have an issue with cheering on bad guys presented as protagonists. This guy is a thief. He's a drug dealer. And he's not even remotely likable. But he, there's enough elements in the film to keep me amused and it's very funny in places such as the hilarious tank scene early on in the movie which which had me in stitches to be honest now the movie premiered two days before 9-11 uh, so you have to question whether or not this would be a movie that was received greater than it was I mean I've spoken to people before who have claimed that this is a cult classic I hadn't even heard of it so had it been released at any other time would it have done better so, though not to the same degree as Tigerland, I cannot deny that I enjoyed this and would say this may very well be the second best war movie I've ever seen. So, I award Buffalo Soldiers 7 out of 10. Right, rant's time, potential spoilers. You've been warned. Now, I hate war. There are rarely instances where it's necessary, and yet our warmonger leaders march the young, the poor, and the stupid off to their deaths anyway. We haven't had a true war since World War II. Now, by, let me just clarify. By true war, I mean legitimately defending the country. Everything we've seen in the Middle East, whether it be Afghanistan, Syria, Iran, Iraq, in fact, we bombed Yemen? I forget. It's been going on for so long. These do not class as war. These are financially motivated invasions. Nothing less. Now, how many innocent men, women, and children do you think have been killed since the 1970s when this truly began? Last time I checked, we were well into the six figures. Innocent people. Not soldiers, not terrorists, not opposing world leaders or politicians, but men, women and children minding their own fucking business. Then we act surprised when they become radicalised. They hate Western countries? Wow, never saw that coming. It's not like we destroyed their homes, killed their wives, children and other loved ones or anything. Then, 
The majority of them are good people. They're not bitter. They're not intending on any form of terrorism. And they just flee the bombings very logically. And they come to the countries responsible for them fleeing in the first place. And what happens? They get called leeches. They get accused of coming for the jobs and the benefits. They suffer racism, persecution, and their kind are demonized every time they turn on the television. You know, the evil, evil Muslims. What is the point of having a civilization if we are no longer willing to be civilized?